I was uh, disappointed to hear that Ms. Ferret had accepted a position at central office and uh, would be leaving as head principal of El Paso High School. So I'll be working uh, with uh, the district on curriculum instruction through, uh, from kindergarten through grade 12. So this is, this is a school that has a few projects that, um, that are transitioning right now. So we're in the process of adding two new magnet programs. One is the AP Capstone, one is uh, the different pieces of STEM. Um, there's partnerships that are being developed right now with UTEP, with uh, the Medical Center, and so just to continue to see those grow so that kids keep having new opportunities. I see it as a place that is really where teachers work together, uh, where they really care about kids, so it's not such a big school that just becomes, you know, a factory. It's, um, it keeps still that small school feeling with still having a lot of great opportunities. It's a school that's strong in academics and fine arts and athletics in, um, in diversity because our dual language program and so to be able to bring all those pieces together um, has been really exciting to see. What I'll remember about uh, Ms. Ferret is her willingness to try new things. I am a fan of the aphorism, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I'm hoping that the, uh, the new principal will spend um, a lot of time uh, in the beginning reflecting on um, how El Paso High works very, very well the way things are already before uh, considering um, uh, taking the, the campus in any uh, wild new directions. It's just such a special place for whoever comes here and has the opportunity to lead. And to really just take it in and, and, um, and allow it to grow, but to continue to appreciate the, the part of its history and its past that has just you know, helped create 100 years of legacy. Mm -hmm.